Uh, go ahead, let, go ahead and, and and challenge me with an atheist trope and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Um, a man finds himself in a chaotic world in which which he doesn't understand and which he'd like to order in order to remain safe and in order to flourish. And so in much the same way that that, that machine at an optometrist's office makes things clearer or blurrier, he finds a narrative which, for the most part, or at least as far as he can see, it sort of fits things nicely together in a way that feels ordered so that he can gain mastery over the chaos to some extent, as far as he can see, uh, and that also makes sense of it as far as he can see. And that this is a perfectly understandable thing for a creature that has evolved to, to, uh, to, to grow into and to, a way to use religion to make sense. I mean, that just seems like a, a naturalistic explanation of religion, that these are overarching narratives that so, no one's saying are meaningless, you know, like they're, they're meaningful in the sense that they help us to prosper and, yeah, feel free to, to steal man no, that if you'd like to. No, the answer is yes. Why not? Of course. Okay, what so, so what I'm saying then is that can exist and God cannot. Well, that's the thing is that if it, if it works, then it's, it has a certain amount of truth to it. It has um, to. Yeah, sure. It has a sort of functional truth, but it, it, but it doesn't. It's that it's revealing a pattern, which is true, just in terms of pattern. Yep. Right? It's revealing a pattern, which is true. Let's use a better word. It's revealing a pattern, which is good. Right, let's use that. I don't know if I want to agree with true or good. I would just say it's revealing a pattern that works. But if it works to a certain extent, it has to be revealing some kind of a, of a good. Like if I, if, I have a, if I have an apple and I have a pattern where I try to put the apple in my nose and it, and it, it doesn't work, but if I put an apple in my mouth and it works and it's like I'm revealing the good of the apple when, I, when I'm engaging in the proper pattern about the, around the apple. And so you could say that this is something which scales up all the way into. Hmm. So you could see it bottom. So the scientist wants to see it bottom up, right? Mm -hmm. And and you're like, yeah, that's fine. All bottom up, bottom up. That's fine. I'll I'll go with you. I'll follow your game. We'll go all the way uh, bottom up until we realize that without these these overarching narratives and without these patterns of behavior, society crumbles or gets taken over by other other groups. And you're like, mm -hmm. okay, well, that's pretty real. Like, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That then once you reach there, you can say the reason why it, it works is because it's also top down. It's also revealing the pattern of reality back down into the world. And so that, that's what I mean. So we mm -hmm. as Christians, okay. we say it's a revelation of God. And the scientists will say, no, that's silly. That's stupid. It's like, okay, fine. I'll follow you bottom up until you realize that without them, Society does go into chaos. Society does start to rep stop reproducing. You actually do create infertility. That you scientists, now that you've broken those patterns, you've created an infertile world that is obsessed with idiosyncrasy, that is full of people falling into addictions, that is full of uh, mm. social fragmentation, that is full of social conflict at the lowest scale possible. And so it's like, okay, Maybe there was something about these things that were that was real, that was mm -hmm. actually that were, re that were re that, revelatory, that were prophetic. That, yeah, that were revelatory of of the good, in in a in a real way. And so it takes a lot. A lot of a lot of the materials that I encounter, they struggle to get to the to get to the point where you were like, if it's bottom up all the way, then it's also top down. It it also works top down, and that the uh, Christian yeah. way of describing it is is coherent it's not a it's not a it's not superstitious for sure right it's it's a it's a revel and especially the way we experience it like when you when you experience a good like especially when you intuit a good your experience of that is not something it's something that you feel like a revelation like you feel like it's coming from yeah. outside of you even in a small way you know like when you're writing a story and then all of a sudden it clicks like you if you're attentive to yourself you'll notice that you don't think that comes just from you, that you're mm. somehow tapping into something which is coming back down on you, you could say, right? that it's kind of 
it is a little revelation not obviously not like a like a prophet or anything but like a little thing um and so that experience you can't so if a if a if a materialist will say well that's just an illusion it's like an illusion of what 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 is again what is the just again like if every single culture in the world has these intuitions about and it manifests itself that way then what does it mean to say it's an illusion like what is it even what are you referring to <laughs> um that makes sense i'm sorry if i no, these are great conversations. And these are conversations yeah. that should be had over a pint of beer and a cigar so that we could yeah, each too sort early. Of <laughs> think and th think them through, you know. When you say the scientists try to understand them bottom yeah. up, I'm not I I guess I'm not sure what you mean because when I think of materialists, they tend to try to break things down to the lowest common denominator. I remember yeah. somebody saying to me, and forgive me if this is a, a crass example, I, I, I don't think it is, but she said, why are men so attracted to breasts? They're just bags of fat. Yeah. <laughs> but that kind of thing, right? Where you reduce everything to the material. Pornography yeah. does that, right? It reduces whatever this person is and is capable of to a sort of two-dimensional thing for my consumption. And right. science, in a way, does that in order to look at the parts and understand them. So, but I say bottom up. Is, this, is that kind of what you mean? So you get down to the lowest thing, like quarks so you or whatever. Say something like so a good way to understand it would be that okay. Um, so let's say let's say why are men attracted to attracted to breasts? Like it's they're just bags of fat. And you could say okay, um, does it make does it like let's say could you explain it even in terms of just basic evolutionary biology? Could you explain more why men are attracted to let's say breasts than attracted to um, elbows yeah to antlers exactly or to something <laughs> well, elbows, completely yeah. random right exactly <laughs> yeah 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 random you can say well first of all it's part of a of a woman and second of all it it breasts become bigger when a woman is pregnant by the way uh that this is something that is just biologically explainable that there's a relationship between fertility and breasts that is actually discernible visually when 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 a woman becomes pregnant and when a woman has a child and is feeding a baby so the idea that a man would see in a breast something which would make which would properly make that woman into the house for his child is not something which is which is completely bottom up explainable in terms of biology and in terms of of how animals reproduce now mm -hmm. you can't like i think as a christian it does it's not reduced to that it's actually manifesting another another type of reality but you can explain it that way if you want and then you could you could uh you could keep you could keep scaling up let's say in terms of social behaviors and why why it is that people act the way they do you can kind of explain it but usually it actually ends up surprisingly revealing um revealing some patterns which end up being let's say true mm -hmm. okay. and even in the way that we as christians understand it yeah so, but, but how is it? How is a naturalist not just not explaining things bottom up? How why why can't it just be? Well, they're explaining it by looking at the bottom, and that's it. Well, that's there is no they up. Don't, they, they're they're bullshitting themselves if they think they're looking at the bottom because the bottom is a quantum field. Let's how about let's start there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or are you going? The only reason why they start at bags of fat is like, what do you think? A, the bag is the bottom of the reality. You think fat is the bottom of reality? It goes keeps it keeps breaking down, my friend. Keep breaking it down. So you bring it up to identities that you can uh, that you can that are actually qualitative. You say a bag, so you say it's a container, right? Mm -hmm. And then you are relating it to something which exists. And so so you stop there and you think that you're not you're not scaling up the levels of reality. You are. Mm, fair enough. You're just gotcha. not doing it. You're not you don't keep going. It's like, I let's see. just keep going now because it's not true that you're at the bottom of reality. That's a, that's a, you're now you're deluding yourself if you think you're at the bottom of reality. But the identity of a bag is something which we know what it is. It has a teleological purpose. It has a, <laughs> it has a good. And we know what that good is, um, so it's not. So there, there's something about about the the process which doesn't work. Got you. Um, so, that makes sense. Yeah. So you haven't started sense. when you say bag of fat. You've started well up the chain. You're well up the ladder. <laughs> Way at up that the point. chain, <laughs> like really into human, even even into like human teleology and human purpose driven action.